Hey, how's it going, guys? Hello, guys. Welcome back to Solid Unboxing. This right here is Spec Ops Global. And this is Roger. This is uh, <laughs> Drill Sergeant Gunther over here. He's not. He's not going to be as friendly and cheerful like in the other unboxing videos. So. This is Spec Ops Global. This is a box that has military and police tactical gear, survival gear that's out there for you guys. You can use the packing material to make a ghillie suit. Some of the packing material. Uh, this is February 2017's box, which is EDC. And uh, that show us the grenade. There are four different styled boxes in there, or four different tiers of boxes in here. You have the JROTC, the new recruit, JROTC, get the f out of here. The season non-com and the elite box, which this that's one, us. This is the elite box. Uh, four different tiers, four different pricings. If you want pricing and details right here. I'm German special ops. This sh legit. Oh God. All right. We're going to see. We're going to test Gunther's special ops. Uh, no, actually, we're not going to test your knowledge. This tells you everything that's in here. We're going to take it out one at a time. Uh, the first item on the JROTC, which is the first tier box. This is where you store your duck calls. Is the water resistant notebook. This isn't it. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, right here. So, your water resistant notebook right here. That way you can take notes when you're underwater about what fish pass in front of you. Perfect for Navy SEALs underwater that are documenting marine life. You can tell them, hey, there's a <laughs> rock behind you, look out. So a water resistant notebook, that's, that's pretty cool. I've actually, we actually see these all the time. So I actually have one of these. So the exact same brand. Bullshit. Next item in the JROTC box is the notebook cover. Is this the notebook cover? This has to be a notebook cover, right? It fits. I'd call it a pouch. Notebook covers, yeah. It even says right here, tacticalnotebookcovers.com. And you can keep your duck calls in here, so when you go hunting, you can call the ducks and they fly over you and shoot all over you. God. It has some of uh, the Velcro backing, so you can stick this on any of your, your Molly gear or anything that has a uh, Velcro straps on it, you can put on there. And this is a cover for your water resistant no, but you really don't need that because it's already water resistant, but I guess it protects it from other elements like dirt and mud and whatever. Meteorites. Meteorites. Sleep. Boom. Boom. There it is. You're halfway to becoming a special operator. Then you have the new recruit box is the next tier up and you have a flashlight from Spain. From Spain? By the way, the, the origin country for the notebook and the notebook cover were the USA. Spain flashlight. You can use this while you're hunting for chupacabras. The uh, Gunther gets excited when he's unboxing. Cause I'm uh, special ops. This is special ops Gunther. He's a different animal. I love special ops gear. Knowing that it's authentic. Tran. Shut up. Oh my God. Train to do this. Jesus, how do you do this? So, <laughs> remember your. Oh, training. look at oh, that! Oh my oh, God, that's oh, a nice God. one. You can tell it's made out of good material. Spanish special ops. Sportsman series LED wave. While he's putting that together, I'll read a little bit about it. Country of origin is Spain. Details with its manufacturing facilities in Spain. LED wave manufactures a variety of lights used by elite military and law enforcement professionals throughout Europe, including the British, French, and German armies. Because the they don't have the money to develop their own flashlights. They all rely on the Spanish. The Sportsman model has a tactical tail cap with both high and low modes, providing more than 180 lumens. 180 Jeez, lumens. Jeez, so bright. You can, oh, God. So you can actually blind someone with you that. You can spotlight the chupacabra before you kill it. Weather resistant. Two meters. It bounces two meters off of any surface. Whatever the f that means. Who knows? Uh, right here is a closer look. And it feels like it's... It's built out of metal and sh <laughs> It's got your little retention clip right here. And then also this can go on your backpack or any gear that you have that can hold it. If you're a special ops doctor and somebody's sick in the field, you can say, open up your mouth, say, ah, and you Pretty shine bright. it down there. Make sure they don't have tonsillitis. All right, next item is season non-com. It's from the next tier up, the third tier box, and you get a belt from Poland. Oh God, I love Polish belts. Just like I love their pottery. Combat belt 
from Poland, right here. Wow, Jesus Christ. Jeez. This is Jeez, like, Louise, what, what is, is that? that? What is that? Put it on, try it on. No, no. I'm not. <laughs> Again, very good material. All these items are really good material. Yeah, this this shit right here is metal. I don't even know. This is made out of like a lightweight steel. Something. Some sort of it's very, very good quality though. Very good quality from our Polish brethren. Let's see what they say. Product information. Our belts are carefully designed and manufactured using only the most advanced durable fabric components. The highest quality. We use polyamide webbing produced Produced in Poland and the USA. The threads are made in Amman, Germany, with a certified tensile strength of 89.6 and whatever the f that is. Austria nice. Alpine buckles, Velcro brand USA, and Alphatex Belgium Vel Velcro webbing. So you can be sure that this is gonna last you in the field. The semi rigid belt is great for your EDC. Easily able to accommodate the weight of a knife, flashlight, or handgun while still being comfortable enough for everyday wear. And when you get home from work and your kids are acting up, don't hesitate. <laughs> Put a licking on them. I, I would. Take that with a grain of salt. Take that with a grain of salt, babe. <laughs> From the Season Noncom box is EDC Utility Pouch. Source country is Russia. Oh, yeah. Russia? Yo, Russia has some good stuff. A Cordura Ballistic Fabric. Is this it? Is I it don't know. know. Yeah, that's Russian right uh, there. That's Russian what? Cyrillic Alphabet. I don't know what the f it says, though. So, here it is, right here. This is the EDC Utility Pouch. And you've got some buckles on the back. Put it over your belt. Your molly. When you go out to the field, you can put your candy bars in there. You might have to break them in half, unless you got small candy bars. You got the little mini candy bars you can put in there. Japanese candy bars. I went to the damn store last night to get two candy bars. They had Snickers that were this big. So you, two of them. Japanese candy will fit in here. Small. So, very good quality. Again, the build of all of this. It. Gunther's gonna give you a second opinion though. He is the smells like up. war. Smells like spent ammo. Smells like cannonballs and missiles. Patriot missiles. Gunpowder and rock and roll. Gunpowder, claymore mines. Smell all of it. Awesome. So really quick, uh, this is from Russia. This With love. SRVV provides tactical gear to elite Russian organizations such as the Federal Security Service, the Presidential F Guard, and many local law enforcement units. Molly attachments on this pouch allow for a variety of mounting options and can be easily worn on one's belt as well. An external Velcro pocket and internal mesh webbing Help keep small items organized all day. This pouch is small enough to remain inconspicuous within your ghillie suit, but large enough to stash your candy bar and EDC item. That's it, they, that's all they say about it. Very nice, very nice. So, EDC pouch from Russia. With love. Amazing quality. With Thank love. you, Russia. Thank you for your service. Uh, the next item is also the Season Non-Com. So you got three items. You've got the Season Non-Com, the third tier box. And the next item is Miniature Chem Lights. Oh, my favorite. Which looks like it's going to be this. You got different colors. You got some pink and green right there. You got some yellow and blue. If you guys want to establish an LZ for a small drone, use these mini chem lights. It'll never miss the LZ. We'll test one out for you right now. Oh God. We'll do the yellow. Wow. Swallow it. How, how bright do you think this is gonna be? 12 lumens, right? do I don't know. It? Expert here, he's gonna show you how to use it. Frag out! Oh God. Shake it up. Snap. Shake it. God. I oh, it is so pretty oh bright. God. Can you see that, guys? Hold no. on. Here, I'll turn the light off. No, don't. I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, you gotta I don't have, I'm not kitted up. I'm afraid of the dark. No, don't do it. I don't know if you guys can see it. You're probably old as shit. You can't see anything. But that's, that's, it's starting to glow like alien sperm or some shit. All right. I know what you guys. I know you guys know what that looks like. Quite reminiscent of alien sperm. Hurry up and come back. I didn't really get to yeah, see too much. But, uh, right there, you can even you can see it even in this well lit up room right there. So last but not least is the elite item, which is going to be a EDC belt knife. Woo! So right.
right here. This is from Gerber. Is it Gerber or Gerber? Who Gerber, is man. Where Gerber? Is baby food. Where you <laughs> Shit. This is a belt knife, EDC belt knife, right here. As you can see, so that'll go on your belt. You can put your belt loop right here, and this might even go along with it. I hope they and it does interface with each other. Is it too much to ask? Right there is your belt and the knife. The belt knife goes right on it, right there. How do you take that out? Is it just... Jesus Whoa. Christ. God. Look how sharp it looks. Made in... Yugoslavia. Right there. Portland, Oregon. What the f***? Some hipsters made it? That sh <laughs> Portland? And there it is. Or uh, some kid. Wow. Some really? boys graduated from clown school and stopped working at Starbucks and made that sh**. Bunch of hipsters live there. None of them have a damn thing to do with the military. Here you go. Tell us about the quality of it. Well, it's sharp as sh**. It'll kill people. Right there, there you have it. This is actually, it's, it's very uh, lightweight, but the blade on it is very strong and it's very sharp. So that is really cool. And the fact that it goes with the belt, that is awesome. EDC belt now, source country, America. Details manufactured in Portland, Oregon. My Gerber knives. The Ghost Strike fixed blade knife is an ultralight self-defense knife with a sheath configurable for low profile carry. The knife can be mounted vertically or horizontally on one's belt. Horizontal mounting allows for zero printing when worn with the jacket or untucked shirt. Detach the belt loops from the sheath's grommet holes and configure it to suit your needs. The grommets can also be used to secure the sheath to a pack or tactical vest using 550 cord. Weighing at less than four <gasps> ounces, this knife is an ideal EDC knife or backup knife. That's it. There you have it. That is all the tiers. That's all the items from this month's uh, Spec Ops Global Elite Box. And EDC was the theme. If you have this box, you're well on the way to launching and starting a war. If that's your thing. If you like warfare, and shit up. It's perfect for you. Or if you just like airsoft, whatever. From Drill Sergeant Gunther himself. You guys heard it. Um, so we're gonna recap, talk about everything in the box, and I'll give you an actual pricing for everything in the box total. See if you got your money's worth. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, so we're back with pricing and our review of everything on this box. Uh, overall was about almost $200, it's $180 to $200 if you take the low range pricing for the items to the high range. 180 to 200 and this was a uh, the elite box which is it's a new pricing it's 149.99 a month for the elite box but you still get 50 dollars over what you pay for if you get the elite box the other boxes are 24.99 49.99 and 99 99.99 each tier up is going to be a little bit more if you're serious about special forces and special ops you need to buy the top tier one down below i do have a code though or just right here i do have a code that'll save you about 10 percent on your purchases that's right solid unboxing use that if you do purchase anything really high quality items and as always from this box this guy does a really good job at curating the box and the items and it went well with the thing it was edc you got all edc items so what was your favorite item in the box do you think everything no i like the flashlight best boom gonna loves the flashlights i think i think my favorite item would have to be the the knife the knife was really cool the fact that it goes on your belt and the build of it it was pretty easy it's lightweight too so i really like the quality of that knife um the flashlight would probably be my second favorite item it was really good in the end we thought the box was pretty awesome the item the quality it's just, the quality of all these items is there and you get your value uh let us know what you guys thought of the items in the box below uh in the description if you'd like to get your own and if you want to save 10 percent use my code solid unboxing right there that's it comment that's below it. comment with what you thought what you thought of uh drill sergeant gunther's sir yes sir say it Comment below, sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, if you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Stay solid and, well. Squadron dismissed. Choose.
Spain flashlight. You can use this while you're hunting for chupacabras. Yeah.